Hey guys, I'm Seth Fighter, and I'm going to show you how to choose the right chatterbait trailer. Uh, there's a lot of options out there for chatterbait trailers, um, from cross swim baits to you know your classic chatterbait style, fluke styles. Um, my personal preference, I think you get the most out of a bait with a straight tail, some form of straight tail, whether it's a razor shad, a little streak, something like that. Um, I know a lot of guys like paddle tail swim baits or even craws. You end up getting a lot of action on the back of the bait throwing stuff with appendages. So um, it ends up moving a lot more water and that might be something to think about if you're getting really off color water, super dirty water, maybe putting a a turbo craw on the back of there, something that's going to kick a lot. But for me, I, I think where a chatterbait shines is uh, the erraticness of it, how it hunts like a crankbait. And, um, you know, a lot of erratic movements that I, I feel trigger strikes. And I feel like when you put any form of, uh, whether it's a craw or a swim bait, anything that's got pull to it, it really takes that hunt away from the bait. And there might be times and scenarios, maybe real cold water where you don't want your bait bouncing all over and that'll kind of act like a parachute and really kind of keep it more stable and uh, like I said create a lot more action behind the bait but when you fish uh, you know straight tail style baits and if I'm throwing a, a full size jackhammer I really like the razor shad and then the stealth blade it's a little more compact bait I'll go down to a 3.75 streaks but when you have a straight trailer, there's no drag or resistance. So when that bait kicks out to the right or to the left, there's nothing pulling back against it. And in my opinion, you get a lot better action out of your chatterbait with a straight, no action trailer um, versus you know something that's got paddle tails or claws or something like that. But there might be a time and a place for that if you want to move more water and you might want a more stable bait. So the water's real cold and they don't want it going over all crazy. But uh, for me personally, uh, nine times out of ten it's a full-size jackhammer with a razor shad on the back of it but that's my personal preference um, tons of options you can put anything on the back of it I just think I get the most performance out of my chatterbait with a, a trailer of that style